Hi, welcome to this news video. We have created an article to tell you guys that we've changed a lot of things and it is important to know what's going on here. We have now these days 18 ISO, so much less than we used to have. They are knowledge in Calamares, in, in Python and so on the modules. We get it and we uh, change our way of building the ISOs. This video is going to accompany this particular article and it's important that you know what's going on. Well, first off, um, we have created a welcome app. Uh, together with Brad, we've made a application that is going to greet you, essentially. It's going to provide <coughs> lots of links down here and lots of information in here. But the essence is that we would like you to run Gpart before trying anything else. It's like walking into a classroom and see a blackboard that's all written with chalk and then you clean it up first and then you start teaching. And it's the same thing here. You clean up your hard disk, get rid of everything that's in there, either encrypted or difficult, uh, I don't know, partitioning, uh, partition schemes, all of that thing. Clean it out, run Gpart. So there's a little button here that you can press, Gpart pops up. You say that hard disk, that partition, go, go, go delete and then you run Calamaris and that's the standard normal pop-up you see you've seen the last months and you install your elements your your choice so that's a new thing and after you well oh yeah there's also a, a message because some of the people were not connected to the internet and then of course if there's no internet then there is no packages that will be downloaded and installed so we have a little message here, not, not connected to the internet. So first, before you launch Calamares, first you get to make sure that this, your internet connection here is working, that your wireless is working. And then you launch Calamares because Calamares is just gonna look once to the system. Is there internet? Yes, the variable is filled in and it will be installed. No internet, well, shut down Calamares first and then restart it again, right? after you have connection to the internet. So that's uh, all there to help you guys. And if you're uh, booting up, it will greet you again and say, here's the release information, choose your project, score info, fast track. So lots of info and we'll probably uh, use the app for, for future ideas that we'll have. So it's looking good in uh, XFC, it's looking good in Plasma, so that's great. Now, what we're going to talk about, that's the, the first thing you'll see on your ISO, but then you have to make a choice, right? Um, Arch Linux has always been our flagship. That means it's our ISO. Our meaning Arch Linux development team, team in short. It's the, the system where we develop. GIMP, Inkscape, three browsers, we all need it. And lots of users love Arch Linux the way it is, with Openbox and i3 and XFCE, with all the software it contains. So these users will still have the same thing as ever. But the flagship can become a cruise ship. That's simply put, you can add more stuff to it. You have now, during the installation of Calamaris, if you have an internet connection, then these guys can be downloaded and installed. So it's gonna take a little bit longer, of course, if you select, for instance, all of these guys, which would not be smart because you have to see if there are conflicts. Huh? LibreOffice fresh and still conflict with each other. It's choose, right? One of, the, one of two. And here as well, Linux kernel and Linux LTS kernel. So it all depends what technical hardware you have, Nvidia and Nvidia LTS. So selecting everything would be not a good idea. So in here, we have a choice, more freedom to radiate out, to install more browsers, to install more editors, and so on and so on. The games, the meta package for Steam, click and Steam works. So it's a lot of elements that you can add to the standard Arch Linux ISO. That's why we say the flagship becomes the cruise ship. You can add more, not less, more. Arch D has changed as well. We've cleaned out lots of things 
that we said leftovers little little files and folders but leftovers anyway and we have now a very bare most bare minimal ISO that we have rebuilt and it gives us the arch Linux look and feel if you want to of course right Arclix D is still the same is still the same in the sense if you do not do anything here it's gonna be still the same it's a lot of choices we provide in Arclix D lots of complexity I understand but also lots of freedom to do whatever you want right off right from uh, Calamaris on that platform you can actually decide already I'm gonna install the desktop XFCE and you click it open you will see it when you watch the videos the installation videos I'll show you so you can actually do nothing and then you have still the same article XD as ever go to the github get your scripts run the scripts done but there is more choices there is more and more possible possible in a technical sense but also look at this at the login manager some of the people said why don't you use SDDM for plasma well you can just start with this one for instance well there is another tutorial later on to change from in, in plasma from LightM to SDDM it's now super easy but again it's all freedom do you want to start with this one the D version the B version it's all good for us you just decide so we get here an, four possibilities and all you have to do is enable it say okay I want to have this one or that one or this one or that one because Arclix D still ends up in a black screen so you need to enable the choice you've made and then you scale reboot and that's it you are in a graphical system if you selected for instance XFCE down here so it's gonna be awesome you'll see uh, a great way to quickly install a bare system then a display manager on top of it with a desktop done and then it's up to you to install team it tweak it and rise it the way you like it so that's article XD I think the most important things have been said here yeah you do still need to install other stuff so it's still very bare it the intention is not to be an Arclix B or Arclix I so no it's still an Arclix D go to the github install more stuff the stuff you like you want so put it in your own scripts you reuse our scripts change them and run them but you can do a lot already from here you'll see that for instance sound is often uh, packaged inside these guys right a desktop will provide already support for sound maybe even Bluetooth it all depends on what you select here all right Arclix B still is the same in the sense that you we we, we created Arclix B so that you can build it not that we can build it you can build it but of course um, not everybody is eager to build or the knowledge is not yet there then you can download now if you download then of course you're again um, well fixed by this choice you can select one of these things and that's it really we do not we do not talk anymore about Arclix B full ISOs or minimal ISOs there's just one ISO and it's actually a minimal one so in the Arclix B ISOs that you can download or build it's the minimal approach you have a very minimal ISO we only use Firefox sublime text and melt as a tool to develop or tools to develop so it's always going to be on the ISO so we can improve the next generation of Arclix B ISOs so option one right you download and you just select here you say okay I want to have this and this and that of course again internet connection required if you're gonna build well you have a package file you can just delete lines or add lines and rebuild it and it's your personal version of Arclix B BSPWM for example right it's a choice and plasma you saw that plasma has a 
particular big change there are only two packages you don't see them of course here two packages in plasma meta packages actually that will be installed which results in a 1.7 gigabyte which is a lot better than the 2.7 but this one is the full if you select all these guys here it will be a hell of a download time but it's one gig more that you'll get so it's up to you to decide do i need the kde games do i need the kde educational software right it's just an another way to give you more freedom more choice to decide what you want and then you check out other elements here but uh, of course due to maintenance we have 15 articling BISOs. we have to draw lines sometimes across all these desktops to say okay this package goes on all the isos so we get a maintainable um, platform right that's understandable so that's basically what's going on um, we will test it for a week another week for the aags and then probably mid-february somewhere there we'll release these versions for february so the number is 20 dot two dot nine and we'll um well we'll we'll see you then all right cheers